so here and the next topic is a two variable k map that means uh, here n equals to 2 two variable k map means what n equals to n equals to 2 means uh, how many cells we have 2 power n cells right so we are getting 2 power n cells here only i will mention so 2 to the power of n cells right which is equals to 2 power 2 that means uh, we have total 4 cells right so each cell means uh, one square box okay total 4 squares we have right so out of four squares uh, we have uh, two rows and two columns right n rows and n columns where n equals to two that means uh, two rows and two columns okay clear okay now the first point here is uh, each cell represents a term of two literals or is two variables okay each cell represents a term of two literals or variables okay and the next second point grouping two adjacent squares that means a pair okay adjacent means here you should consider as pair okay grouping two adjacent squares containing ones which represents a term of a term of one literal literal or variable okay don't confuse with the terminology and third point so here we have total four cells four cells is nothing but the four square boxes okay in that uh, we have two rows and two columns okay each cell represents a term of two literals or variables okay each and every box contains a two uh, literals okay two variables or two literals here n equals to two means what n equals to two variables right so that's why each square box will have two uh, variables right so grouping two adjacent squares containing a ones which represents a term of one literal or one variable if you are uh, if you are taking two boxes each box having two literals so in that uh, if you pair the two squares so we will get uh, one uh, variable as a common factor we will get one single variable uh, while solving that boolean expression okay that is the meaning uh, grouping two adjacent squares containing ones which represents a term of one literal or variable okay so anyway so by seeing these sentences you will not get clarity so if i am taking one example then you will get clarity about this topic right so next point grouping four adjacent squares previously grouping two adjacent squares right and now grouping four adjacent squares in the previous case a pair but here quad okay containing ones which represents the function equals to one that means we don't have any variable so we will get either one or zero right so grouping four this is min term so that uh, so grouping four adjacent squares containing one so which represents the function value equals to one okay so these are the important points to remember in two variable k map method okay now i will take one example then you will get the clarity about this concept right so this is your uh, four cells uh, k map method here n equals to 2 that means 2 to the power of n cells that means 2 to the power of 2 that equals to 4 cells cell is nothing but one square box right so 4 cells means we have 2 rows and 2 columns once you observe this pattern here we have uh, 2 rows this is first row and this is second row right and uh, this one is first column and this one is second column 2 rows and 2 columns means we will get total 4 cells so this is the pattern you have to represent for n equals to 2 variables and now 2 variables means uh, uh, we should take uh, a and b are 2 variables right so otherwise uh, here i will mention a and b are 2 variables a and b are 2 variables so here i will take direction like this so here a and here i will take b okay that means uh, this entire uh, top uh, will represent with b and this entire uh, side uh, we will represent with a okay now here i am taking binary bits like uh, so here this is zero and this should be considered as one here we have only two possibilities so that i will take zero and one right and here also we have uh, two possibilities so that means uh, zero and one that means this variable a variable is available in the form of complementary form uncomplementary form so first i will explain the example with the help of sum of product nature and after that i will explain with the help of a product of some nature okay sum of product k map identification is different 
and the product of sum identification is different. In the sum of product, we will get product terms. Finally, we can add all those product terms. So then we will get sum of product equation, right? So in product of sum, what happened? Same KMAP method only, but there uh, we will get the sum terms. All the sum terms we can multiply at the end. Then we will get the product of some Boolean expression, right? First, I will explain this example with the help of uh, sum of product nature, right? Okay, now, so in sum of product nature, uh, if the variable equals to zero, uh, we will uh, define that variable in complementary form, right? Already we discussed in previous session. So if a equals to zero means uh, that a can be defined a bar, okay? If a is equal to one means that a can be defined a, okay? That means uncomplementary form. If it is zero, so we will indicate with the uh, complementary way. If it is one, we will indicate with uncomplementary form, right? So that's why here I'm taking b equals to zero means we will define b bar and uh, b equals to one means, so we will define with b, okay? And here a equals zero means a bar and a equals to one means a only. So for two variable, uh, these are the possibilities, okay? Now you will indicate these boxes with the numbers, okay? So this is the sum of product I already told you before starting itself okay so i will explain this uh, example with sum of product nature so that uh, sum of product means we will indicate with the small m okay this first box will indicate with m0 and the second box will so this is the arrow direction so arrow direction like this so that first m0 after that i will move for this box so this will be indicated with m1 after that i will move for this box so this is m2 and this one is m3 total four boxes 0 1 2 3 so because of this arrow direction i will move from this to this after that this to this okay so in case this direction is changes like uh, so i will take in next example okay so m0 m1 m2 m3 so whenever you fill this table so don't always use this m okay just you can take 0 1 2 3 like that you can indicate always you don't use this m board okay if you know sum of product means you will indicate with 0 1 2 3 4 like that you can indicate that is enough okay so for your understanding point of view i am using this m word but uh, once you will get clarity then you can directly use 0 1 2 3 like that okay that is enough so this is your uh, two variable k map for sum of product okay here i will mention this is for sum of product by seeing this m uh, you can conclude that uh, this is uh, sum of product boolean expression realized for example if i am taking this arrow direction is downwards we have only two possibilities right one is arrow upward direction so in case if you are taking upward direction we are moving from left to right m0 m1 and for m2 m3 like that in case if the arrow direction is in downward direction then what happens oh, this is your uh, code cells square square box okay so this is your two variable k map so now i will take arrow direction in opposite manner that means a downward direction so like this in this uh, k map uh, we are starting here and we are ending here so that i will take a b like that okay here what happened i am starting here i am ending here but you can take a here b here so no problem otherwise you will take a here b here no problem okay so wherever you are taking variable in that place you can use that variable complementary uncomplementary notations okay for example if here i am taking b so complete this stop you have to indicate complementary uncomplementary variable nature right suppose here i am taking b so this is zero this is one so that i indicate b bar and b, b right for example if i am taking a here this you can take this one is a bar and this one is a okay that is not a big deal uh, to indicate the variables so now here i am taking a and uh, here i am taking b variable so now this is downward direction so that i am taking and uh, next case i will take here zero and this one is one and this zero and this one these are uh, not changes okay so these are fixed zero one this is a two variable so that i am taking zero one in case of four variable what happened 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 four possibilities you can indicate in the uh, same line right so now this 0 is represented with the b bar because uh, we are indicating variable b here right so that's why i'm indicating b bar and this one is a b and here we have a bar and here we have a okay 
so what about this uh, downward direction arrow because of this downward direction arrow just you can indicate here m0 after that you can move in this direction not this direction right so now what happened this first this is m0 after that you will get m1 here okay m0 after that that means you can move from top to bottom okay because of this downward direction you can move from top to bottom for here you can move in sideways right m0 to m1 and next m2 3 next you will get m2 here and next you will get m3 here so now your direction is downward this side okay otherwise i will indicate here then you will get some clarity about this this is your direction to represent the literals okay and here you can move from this direction so this are some of thoughts